I'm Tony Langtree, I'm a mechanical engineer and I'm currently mainly working on the ST40 mechanical design. It's a small but high powered sort of tokamak and I think it is quite a challenge. Essentially looking at what are the stresses on the design, are the bits strong enough, can we get them made, is it going to move, is it going to survive, how long will it work for and so on. Essentially you've got a system of very large magnets. The field generated in order to control the plasma is generated by passing huge currents through some big conductors. So we've got almost like a bird cage of big copper conductors which are taking a quarter of a million amps each, which is quite a big current. As the current goes through these conductors, they generate magnetic fields and you get the current in the field and that produces forces. So. So you get some you know, quite substantial forces generated in the magnet structure on one of the curved outer pieces, which we call the, the TF return limb. I think we've got something like 40 tonnes trying to move it sideways. And then there's some even bigger forces trying to sort of burst it outwards so that it, uh, which it resists in tension along its length. What I'm looking at here is, you know, can we use a standard component which is cheap, strong, off the shelf, or do we have to go for the expensive one? That's really the, the reason for that piece of work. There's lots of quite strange sort of materials problems involved in this, particularly inside the inner vacuum chamber. Outside of that chamber, the requirements are a bit less sort of exotic, but you do need, in general, these things to be non-magnetic, and quite a lot of them need to be fairly strong. I've never worked on a tokamak until I joined Tokamak Energy. The opportunity came up and I thought it was probably the most interesting job I'd ever heard of really. I mean it sounded brilliant.